Hello guys, in this video we have in a piecewise function like the diagram shows here which is defined for minus 1 less than equal to x less than equal to 4 where f of x equals to what you can see here two pieces of function the first one uh, defined in an interval of minus 1 uh, and 1 and the second one 4 over 5 minus x in an interval of 1 and 4 so what we want to do here is to state the range of the function we will therefore sketch the graph of y equals to f minus x i mean this is the inverse function of f of x and we will obtain expression to define the function f minus 1 giving also the set of values for which each expression is valid our function is defined in pieces and of course we're going to work out the range of the function in pieces either so we will start with the first function in each domain minus 1 and 1 we will say 3x uh, minus 2 and here this is our I mean let me take like a y1 and we will define its range here its interval is minus 1 and 1 so what we're going to do here we're going to you know replace x here by the value or the bother the limits of our interval to see i mean to obtain the range of our function so we're going to say for x equals to uh minus one we're going to have your y1 equals to three times minus one minus two and this is going to give us here minus five this means that y1 is going to be here minus five and for x equals to 1, we're going to have y1 equals to 3 times 1 minus 2. And this is giving us here 1. So we can see that the range of these first function here is minus 5 and 1. Now, we will do the same thing with the second function. Let me call it here y2 which is here equals to uh, 4 over 5 minus x. Of course, we're going to say for x equals to taking the border or the limit of each interval for x equals to 1. We're going to have here um, y equals to 4 over 5 minus 1. And this is here 4 over 4 equals to 1. And for x equals to 4, we're going to have here um, y equals to, or y1 if you want, equals to 4 over 5 minus 4. And this is here equal to 1. And the range of this second interval will be therefore 1 and 4. Now, putting them together, we can see that the, the range of our function is going from 5 to 1, and 1 is the same what we got here to 4. So we're going to say the range of our function, when we you know, answer the question now, the range here of our function equals to minus 5 and 4. Now, for the second question, we want to find the, uh, the inverse of the function and graph it. And of course, we're going to see doing in pieces. So for the first function, we will say it's y equals to 3x minus 2. And there we will switch y and x. That's going to be x equals to 3y minus 2. And then now try to find y. And then pass 2 to the other side by adding plus 2 on it. We have you here x plus 2 equals to 3y. And therefore, we're going to have y equals to one-third of x plus 2. And that's the inverse of the first function. We can even call it here uh, y minus 1. Okay, for the second one, second function, we're having y equals to uh, 4 over 5 minus x we're going to do the same thing switching x and y so we're going to have here uh, x equals to 4 over 5 minus y and then we will cross multiply assuming that we're having one here cross multiplying this way this is going to give us here um 
x times 5 minus y equals to 4 okay and therefore what we divide by by x this means we're gonna have here 5 minus y equals to 4 over x and of course if we continue we will pass 5 to the other side and by subtracting 5 on both sides then we have in minus y equals to uh, 5 plus uh, minus 5 excuse me plus 4 over x and because we have minus 1 on y here we will multiply by minus y I mean the whole thing by minus y and this is going to give a finally y minus 1 equals to 5 minus 4 over x so now we can see that we have the two inverse function here this is the, for the second function and this is here for the first function we would need to have the n of r to be able to to draw it in order to sketch it in a graph so to find the domain i mean the uh the domain okay the domain of this or the n of r of these two inverse function now that we have our two inverse function we will find the domain i mean their domain we will start with the first one with this domain here um we're gonna have here taking the original domain and insert this function i mean this end of this inverse function in it and work it for x or solve it for x so this is what we're gonna have here minus one this is the integral i mean the domain less than equal um taking this function need one third of x plus 2 less than equal 1 now we're gonna multiply by 3 okay so we have it here minus 3 less equal than x plus 2 and less equal than 3 multiply by 3 here and we will subtract 2 on it on it here so it's gonna give us here minus 5 less equal than x less equal than one and this is the integral of the first function so its integral is here we will say this function is defined in the integral of minus five to one for the second function uh, we take its original integral is one less than uh, less than the function here the inverse function five minus 4 over x and solve it for less equal than 4 and solve it for x first of all we will subtract 5 on it here we're going to have here minus 4 less than minus 4 over x less than less equal less than equal to uh minus 1 now we can multiply the whole thing by minus one. So it gives us here minus uh, one fourth, sorry, one fourth less than um, x over four less than equal one. Now we can multiply by four everywhere so this is going to give us so much by 4 we're going to have 1 less than equal x uh, less than uh, less than x less than equal 4 and this is here the interval of our second function 1 to 4 so this is our two function now drawn um, as you can see uh, y minus one the first function is this orange one here so we can put y one of minus one and the other function the yellow one is y one y two minus one this is this inverse function here and in their interval this one is going from minus five to one this is what we have here minus five to one to one here and this one going from one to four and this function is the inverse of that function that one is the inverse of this function here so um, in this question two, we, we've already answered the, the question number three because we're here to have, I mean, the set of value for which each expression is valid. And that's what we saw here, that the inverse, this inverse is valid in this integral here, and that other one is valued in this integral here. So we can say, um, 
we can put I, I, I here to answer this is the answer to the third question okay so again in this video we have the a piecewise function uh, which which is defined in this anywhere you can see here we had to state the range of the function that's what we did here and obtain the range of the function minus four uh, minus five to four we had to do that piecewise starting by finding the rate of this function and the rate of this other function and add them up and obtain minus five and four therefore we had to sketch the the inverse of the function this is what we got here the sketch of the function but before doing that we first you know find we have first find the the inverse of the two function this is the inverse of the first function and this is the inverse of the second function we just you know by finding the inverse uh we switch uh y and x like we did before in the previous video and then work it out for y and this is then the uh, inverse of the function and then we had to uh, and we answered the third question we was which were here to define the expression i mean uh to the function f f minus one this is this function here we can write it also and given also the set of values for which each expression is value and this expression is value in this interval here this is this set of value here from minus five to one and this expression is valid in this interval from one to four and that's how you can work out the piecewise function so thank you for watching again guys until next time bye bye